my beauties and another blah blah. I think this one is important because uh, a lot of us facing facing this feeling. Uh, this feeling quite typical for uh, destiny matrix energy seven and energies fifteen. Um, energy twenty one sometimes from time to time energy twenty one optional but most common for energies fifteen and seven. Sometimes 21 and sometimes energy 1 could be when in deep, deep minus. But for energy 1, you need to be in really deep minus. Uh, for for other energies as well, 16 may go through this. Uh, but again, this is major minus. This is a major minus considered for energy 7 and 15. Me, myself, I, me, myself, I, I have 15 in Convictel. I have 7 on Earth line. So... I know what I'm talking about, so, 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 so. Here uh, we'll, we'll go responding comments, okay? Yesterday was Blah Blah Club um, on Go giving me feedback on predictions uh, that it didn't work out for her and how envious she is of her even friends, even lesbian friends uh, having a couple, yeah? Uh, and I tried to explain why predictions not working, yeah, how you should act receiving predictions. I tried to explain you with many different life examples, real life examples, including from my own life. And uh, I'm planning still to make a smaller video on this using one interesting um, historical story. Yeah, that will be a short one video with a uh, major law of predictions, how you should treat predictions. Um, I posted this major law in pinned comments, but for you that many of you ignore in description box and pinned comments, yeah, please don't do this because you may find a lot of, lot of, lot, lot of answers there without even like asking yet. A, a lot of questions that you asking, you may uh, figure out using description box or pinned comments. Okay, so. Here we go. Uh, go left me feedback and we will blah blah about this and I will give you my perspective. I knew you would make a video about this lol. Of course I will make a video about this because this is important topic. For a lot of you out there, this is important topic. A lot of you feeling like upset or resentful when something good, some good prediction not coming true, okay? I felt the same way, girls. Um, I had a prediction. I had a prediction from a reader. I still keep it in, on my... Um, I, I still keep it on my uh, laptop. This prediction from very popular reader whom I respect in my terms of craft. Yeah, I respect the reader, so I, I got a prediction from her. And since one of my major energies is energy four, you know, it's my core. For me, home, beautiful home, interior, my place of power is my home. My office is my home. Yeah. Uh, I don't like to go anywhere out there in, in the, and work in cafes. Only sometimes. This is like rare, rare, like only sometimes. I may go like out to cafe work from there, like from time to time. Yeah, but 80% of my work I'm doing from home because my beautiful home is my place of power. And uh, most of all than anything, yeah, I wanted to have my own beautiful home or at least apartment. And I contacted the reader asking her what is the best way and how I will get an apartment. Yeah. Uh, my own, to own my apartment. And she read my energies and she said me, yeah, and at the end of year, this and that, uh, you will receive on, by cheap prices, you will get yourself apartment. And it didn't came true. And what? I understand, but after this, I already received knowledge of matrix of karma and i spot it in my destiny matrix energy 16 on ancestral diagonals it made it clear for me why my family lost property lost a lot of like uh, home yeah we, we lost a lot of uh, property uh, we lost home literally and i realized that i need to work harder there than anything else in this freaking direction to plant karmic seeds of um to plant karmic seeds of own home i'm trying to find my matrix <laughs> yeah i found it yeah 
you see on ancestral here male position energy 16 yeah you, you see this yeah energy 16 is about housing homes having a home so i i hadn't figured out this energy yet so i i i'm not only in a home even though this is so fucking important for me this is so essential for my energy for okay goes yeah but at least i'm showing you how you're working with your destiny matrix because uh reading you're working with your destiny matrix not stopping when you received the reading and read it yeah you need to work with it daily 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 that's a lolo shit oh lord 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 what is here so many okay okay i will put it like this so goals yeah what i'm talking about and this prediction didn't came true for me and i understood yeah it's somewhere near yeah it will come true but still i'm not making like proper effort towards this and i have my own like fierce blockages uh because of this yeah um even though i, I love country i am in currently i'm not feeling completely safe here you know due to a different circumstances yeah and uh, to to get home you know to have strong motivation to have home you need to feel completely safe like 100 percent safe then you're gonna work your ass off and and you will make it happen yeah so i understand the blockages as well since i have energy 18 here on earth line it's not very significant but still this is adding to my energy seven and energy seven is being purposeful and this prevents me from having a home. Uh, because what's, what are my choices? To get home where? Here? Or in Dubai? Here it could be taken away at any time. And they already shown what is going on right now here in terms of real estate marker is uh, horrific. To, to get home where? I hadn't figured it out yet, you know, I hadn't figured it out what, what can become my another home or second home, yeah, uh, to set this as a goal. So I'm just grateful for a place that I'm renting and that's it for now, for now, yeah, and working on other energies in my matrix instead of working and satisfying my four with having only beautiful home, yeah. Mm, I have fears and my fears as well, they related to energy 16 because not safe not safe yeah uh, our family my family lost home so many times due to war due to bombing etc 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 and i don't want to lose a home for which i work my ass really hard because of some stupid politicians one more time you know or some stupid discrimination of foreigners i don't want to lose home I don't want to lose money on, on that I worked really hard to some stupid politicians and the games, yeah. So this is preventing me from nourishing my energy for and having a home. We're moving further, yeah. Mm. Uh, like you said, you would... Um -hmm. That if you were at my basic level of understanding, you would understand my jealousy, resentment, and frustration. So I completely understand. But again, the major point here, when I was young, yeah, when I came to Kharkiv to study, yeah, I had a similar issues. Very, very similar issues. Again, I'm highlighting all energy 7 and 15 and I have it. If you have it in your matrix, you're going to have those issues. Yeah, for sure. The rest is optional, maybe not that bright. Okay. So, girls, what I want to tell you. But you need to figure out the way. It's your responsibility not to stuck in this feeling not to stuck in this feeling especially for a while not to return to this uh, this is your behavior pattern learn not to do this so you will not so you will not plant karmic seeds um, of this jealousy and resentment yeah you will not plant it in this amount huge tremendous amount that will prevent you from further success in life make sure that you're not creating more blockages for yourself that you already have okay 
here we go yeah it's extremely easy for you a person that this way older than me and has certification knowledge and experience in metrics again this is typical energy five and we also knowledge and certifications goes zero knowledge please and I, i'm gonna highlight it zero certifications please this is important especially for energy five zero knowledge zero certification gonna make you rich only knowledge that you apply daily regularly gonna lead you towards prosperity uh, whatever knowledge or certificates you you have it will not make your life any better and i'm telling you it's it's not a key okay it's not a freaking key just start using uh, a lot of energies five uh, they uh, and 1899 yeah i'm dealing with this uh, they they trying to get everything to digest and absorb all knowledge. When I'm more for practical approach, take a little piece of knowledge applyable in your situation and apply it, apply it, apply it until you will receive fruits. Then move next, move further, move further. Uh, especially for those of you who are not planning to earn your living from destiny matrix. But you doing mistake, yes, yeah, those of you who are not planning to earn from destiny matrix, you're doing a huge, tremendous mistake by trying to learn every fucking thing and you think you will be self cure and expert. It's like for dentists to try to fix own tooth, yeah? Even me, a matrix reader, I'm consulting with people who like, about me so uh here we go here we go uh, knowledge and experience in metrics tarot and life itself to, to say my friend went to vacation to this place and i feel happy of course you will be rejoicing because you have traveled before here honey okay I, I will share with you not always me will be rejoicing okay Again, I want to highlight this. Please, my darlings, I want to highlight it. Me, myself, not always I will be rejoicing. And I will explain you why. But I prefer, I prefer to make conscious choice to surround myself with the people for whom I will be able to feel happy and rejoice. Uh, Lolo. Now, Lolo. Uh, criminal. Pimp. Uh, owner of prostitution house, Lolo. He traveled a lot. He's only flying private jets. I never in my life fly to private jet, yeah. Or VIP, business class, yeah. He's, he's flying only VIP or business class, yeah. And he's traveling as a mad fucking dog. And there, in his case, I was fucking angry and jealous observing this motherfucker. Angry and jealous. I was so fucking um, angry, jealous, observing this piece of trash traveling worldwide. Yeah. Me, myself as well. Because what? Because how he money that he got to travel this. I earned every fucking penny that I spent on my trips with my hard and honest work how he earned money by brainwashing teenagers to prostitute for him that's how he earned money for private jets etc etc of course my energy aid is fucking screaming like this is not fucking fair you see how we get in triggered differently in terms of destiny matrix and of course, in his case, observing this motherfucker bragging me, him flying to Dubai, him buying porta potties, yeah, there. Of course, I, I felt envious, furious, angry, etc., etc., that this piece of trash being able to travel and enjoy traveling, etc., etc., because there is no universe in which I would believe that he earns this money with his brain and talent. The way how he earns this money, most likely exploiting women with his wife, who is encouraging him to be friends with teenagers. 
So I will not stop until police will ask this woman, interview this woman, why the fuck she's encouraging her pimp husband who has history of pimping teenage girls, why she's encouraging him to be friends with teenagers still, why? Because again, I'm fucking endless. What the fuck is going on? But your choice, my dear, not surround yourself with such trash, okay? Uh, because if you envious of people traveling, yeah, traveling the world, seeing the world, yeah, most likely it's deeper than just like being envious. It's a deeper issue there. It's a people issue there, okay? So it means you're surrounding yourself with shitty people because people whom I observed in my reality, yeah, who traveled, both of them really hardworking people. This married couple. I know for whom they work, I know how they work, how they earn in their bread. It's very honest way. It, uh, the guy is very talented in this couple and girl is very hardworking. So I, I, I was able to rejoice for them. Can I rejoice observing Lola travels? Fucking no. Of course I will be envious. So ask yourself, are Lolas in your environment? You surrounding yourself with Lolas? Or you surrounding yourself with people whose success you can repeat? Ask yourself, with, with whom? Who are those people? Mm, towards whom you feel envious that they are traveling. My other friend is multi-talented brain. I'm very excited how he, um, like, done, let's say, conquered and earned fast money on this artificial intelligence. He dig deep and in many, many hours in row and earned all this money with artificial intelligence when it just started. And it started not the boom of artificial intelligence. It started just just not far ago. It just started, you know, like maybe seven months ago, and he did it. I didn't do this, yeah. But again, my path is different path. My talent is different talent. He have chosen this direction, and I realize I understand with my talent slowly. My path is is a bit different. I'm figuring out it's unique. Yeah, he did it in a f just a few months. Super talented, super dedicated. I cannot dedicate that many hours to things that are not interesting to me. Photo analysis is super interesting to me. And I can dedicate hours and hours of my life. And I dedicated them on photo analysis. And he dedicated on artificial intelligence. And he figured out this money game really quick, really fast, set himself free financially and boom, fly away. And I'm very happy for him. I, I have seen him not sleeping enough and working and studying and applying. He learned, applied, learned, applied, learned, applied, learned, applied. Being home. Done. Super. Congratulations. That super talented brain. That super hardworking, super dedicated person. What I can do, I can only rejoice. Can I rejoice for Lolo with his uh, hijabi trash prostitute and teens? Encouraging her, her, her husband to, can I rejoice for these people? No. Seeing them traveling makes me super jealous, super envious because it, uh, this is pieces of trash. So ask yourself, you surrounding yourself with friends who are pieces of trash that you so much envious and jealous of them or you observing them can learn from them how to and again here i i will refer to karma uh, i don't know if if you know how my very first trip had happened in my life how i went on my very first trip to europe we visited 10 countries we visited 10 countries in europe how how it had happened uh, with my back then boyfriend, uh, every weekend we were showing Kharkiv to foreign girls. 
at Facebook groups we were posting ads that we are running free excursions to foreign years. We were doing uh, this something around half year and then universe sent us opportunities through our Catholic friends. Yeah, we were at service in Catholic church with our Catholic friends. We were at Christmas uh, service. And we have seen a pastor as well making this ad that only you paying for fuel for a bus. Yeah, it was a bus trip. You only pay for fuel, like 100 euro back then. Still, it was money, but it wasn't super expensive compared to like traditional trip like this. It costs some, somewhere around 400 euro. This one cost us like 100 euro. We were staying with Catholic families, attending services all across the Europe. Yeah. Uh, we were fed by these Catholic groups, charities, etc., etc. It was the most amazing Christmas and most charming, magical, I would say, trip in my life. Very first trip to Europe. But looking back right now, I understand how I created this in my reality because every fucking weekend for free in, in any weather we were showing our city to foreigners and planting, planting, planting these karmic seeds of travel. We were doing this. We were as well, we were going to different restaurants with him and living like really large reviews on what in menu what's attitude, etc., etc., etc. in English as well. It, it, it was helpful reviews for other people. Uh, back then, Foursquare was popular, etc., etc. So we were, we were planting these karmic seeds of travel. We were planting these karmic seeds of traveling in this lifetime. And in this lifetime, they returned. Maybe Lolo, because again, we need to understand he's traveling too much, not because he's profiting from, or profited in past from prostitutes and teens. Maybe from past karma incarnation, he, he had like great amount of karmic seeds, good karmic seeds of travel. And it's independently unfolding in his life with traveling but the motherfucker not being able to enjoy traveling he said me i hate traveling and of course if you're criminal ass and you're afraid to be caught of course you will be hating traveling instead of enjoying it you know but my ass still was envious i mean like i'm the same exact human being what what i'm able to do i'm able to moderate my reality using tools that i have in my hands why can't you use these tools and just communicate hang out with those people for whom you can be genuinely happy for them to travel Whenever you, again, for energy seven, whenever you reach a, a certain level, yeah, as she is like saying me that you are able to rejoice because you traveled. Yes, I traveled, but in terms of my appetite, I, I didn't travel uh, long enough or to all destinations that I want. Still Australia on my list, yeah, girls. So uh, I, I hadn't been to all places that I dreamed about. Still, I'm not satisfied completely, yeah? Um, again, girls, uh, I hadn't been traveled as I want to travel with business class and private jets, yeah? So I, I have my own, like, standards to be jealous about, and still I am not jealous. Uh, observing now my teacher traveling, like, with... Um, business class and showing this all details of business class i'm more like chill and relaxed and i'm like oh, i i want to get there you know it's different feeling because i respect my teacher i love my teacher i i see how amazing she is i see how hard working she is when i look at lolo all i see is motherfucking abuse a motherfucking piece of trash who is protecting a person who was choking me this fucking psychopath vindictive fucking vindictive psychopath I hope, but recently, uh, girls, I chatted to a girl and they saying exactly the same fucking threads. I, I want you to read uh, her response to me. Okay, one moment. One moment, my beauties. Oh, Lord. Okay, one moment. Uh, something I misunderstood in her writing, so she corrected me. 
Oh no, he said if he lived until 2060, he would never forget I screwed him. I will live under the fear of his threats for the rest of my life, he was saying. If he doesn't come for me now, someday he will, when I least expect it, basically. And exactly the same, same psychopath Nihat said to American woman he, he was cheating with, on me, yeah, he said to her that uh, he will someday, he will get revenge on me, he called me a bitch, yeah, uh, when I will be least expecting this, and he hired this pimp Lolo, Lolo or he talked him into this somehow, I, I, I'm still not sure what he did, uh, to abuse me, to abuse me, to terrorize me mentally, and when I'm writing to Lolo, what had happened, honey? Nihat not tipping you anymore for abusing me, for terrorizing me, for threatening me with a bullet. Nihat not tipping you anymore. Lolo is silent, you know, mashallah. Uh, so definitely I'm not a person who's going to live in fear of this psychopaths, you know. So, uh, but they're using exactly the same shitty fucking words and tricks. So, girls, please be aware of such psych psychopaths from war room jerks, especially. So, we're moving further. Um, my friend went to vacation to this place and I feel happy. Of course, you will be rejoicing because you have traveled before. So, here I gave you my perspective. Um... I'm choosing those people, yeah, to follow. Even my teacher, she travels right now level above me, okay? She travels way above me, much level that I'm only dreaming of, yeah? But again, when I watch her stories, emotion, I feel not envious, but more like, wow, how good she's showing all this. He's making like... um he keep, she keeps us motivated, let's say. She keeps us motivated, yeah? So when I observe her, I'm sort of, oof, I, I need to become, you know, a better version of me. So definitely I will have access to all of this, yeah? Girls, uh, we're moving first. Make sure you surround yourself with the people about whom you will be happy. Because those people who right now in your environment, that's not the right people then if you're not being able to rejoice for them, okay? That's not because, you know, that's not because I traveled and you don't. You're not able to. It, it's because of people are on. And I'm trying to show you this in this video. Because people you looking up at, they are somehow wrong. I don't know what's wrong with them. I gave you my personal example. Whenever I'm observing this trash Lolo and his fucking trash wife who encouraged him to be friends with teenagers, uh, I'm not being able to, to feel happy for them. I'm not being able to rejoice for, for, for them. And when I observe his trash brother as well, Piran Habro, who traveled, you know, all across the globe, like uh, every two weekends, new fucking country. I can only dream about this because I hadn't been to that many countries, girls. I lived for a month in Paris, but it's like nothing. It, it's like nothing. This jerk, his Piran Habro, with whom he threatened me, kickboxer us, yeah? He had been every fucking where. Every and most beautiful places. I'm telling you, of course I'm fucking mad because I, I, I look at them, I look at their morals, I look what kind of shitty people they are. And I'm getting very upset that they accept, they receiving access to such luxuries in life. Because my energy aid finds it not fucking fair. And what I do in order not to plan these karmic sets, like just distance myself from those people, okay? Cut them off, throw the garbage out. Get rid of the garbage. That's it. And focus on someone for whom you can feel happy, like my teacher. In my case, it's my teacher. She's at Istanbul now, yeah. And I'm super, first, I love Istanbul. I'm super happy to observe, like, her cover in different places there, yeah. Uh, her showing from inside business class flight, Turkish Airlines, etc., uh, her show in jacuzzi with view on Bosphorus. I feel super happy even though I never had this in my life. So here we equal with you, my honey. But I learned 
And uh, my teacher is a person whom I respect and, you know, I'm not feeling that she's a bad human being. And I respect her. So I'm able to rejoice for her. And the same should be about your friends. Because if you feel like this is amount of envy towards them means your friends not a good people or means you see them uh receiving access to this everything not earned but somehow like you know in unfair way okay so don't focus on these people focus on those people who who worthy okay whom you considering hard working worthy and good example for you Focus on those people. For those people, you will be able to rejoice. So you will be able to speed up those events in your own life. Those karmic seeds. You will be feeding something good, not, not negative um, energies, okay? So here we go. I never had a relationship like myself. And then you see your friends travel in the world while you wanted to travel. Uh, you wait and wait and you give it time, years to be exact like you said, and then nothing happens. Um, again, as well, Hills, you know what I realized? Most of things like happening when you let, let, let it go, sort of, you know? Um, I remember when I just started to study at my faculty. I wanted to travel so bad. <laughs> But zero financial resources, you know, I kept applying, applying to be representative from university to go at least to shitty Poland, you know, like to, to, to just to go somewhere. I was only successful with going from my university to Kiev to one conference and get my bills paid. Yeah. Uh, it, and still Kiev was just, just amazing for me. Back then I had enough of karmic seeds for this. I remember I still have picked first picture from this. My first trip, let's see, my first paid trip, yeah. When it wasn't even the first. First one was to Kharkiv when I won some journalistic contest. And when I came, uh, I still was a schoolgirl back then. I fell in love with the city and I decided, well, that's where I want to live. That's where I want to study. That's my vibe. I, I want it. Yeah. And then at 16 years old, I just uh, close the door and walk away to, to my dream. Yeah. Without any support from family whatsoever. Uh, because I felt this way when I traveled to that. That was my very first like travel, let's say. Uh what else? Mm, to Kiev as well, I was going, coming as a child, yeah, mm, around 11 years old, but that was, you know, like very, let's say I was staying with my godmother and I was like, not seeing much, yeah, it was winter, mm, but when I went from university, it was springtime and it was really like amazing, I seen a lot of and I was able to digest what I have seen, new places, uh, historical places, so I got super excited, you know, I've been to Kiva Pictures Calavra, that, that place, like, really um, such interesting, vibrant energy, so I made it a tradition every time I was coming to Kiev, Laura was on my must-go list, <laughs> so uh, one of my favorite places to attend. Goals. Here we're moving further. Uh, you're not going to be like, yeah, my friend traveled why I never did. No. Again, I explained you why. <laughs> I tried to explain you why. It doesn't depend on if you've been well traveled or not. Yeah, I've been traveled, but when I'm looking at my teacher, yeah, her flying business class, private jets, etc., etc., etc. I can't be jealous, but I cannot because I, I know how hard she worked for this. I know her mission. I, I know what she's teaching us. Yeah, I'm super excited for her. I just have chosen the right person to follow to plant this karmic seeds of happiness and to accelerate my own to unfold and just cut off people for whom you can't rejoice observing this. That, that's very simple, okay? Uh, I, I tried to explain. I hope some of you, at least some of you grasp on this. Let me know in comments. Maybe some of you still struggle and not able to. Those of you from 
who from sponsor chat um matrix sponsor chat again you're welcome to discuss this in sponsor chat if you have any jealousy being envious issues yeah let's discuss in detail there and you're not gonna uh, and especially if you have been bullied humiliated and have moments where you feel like the universe turns they back on you first of all i never felt that universe turn its back on me never in my life i don't know whom to thank okay girls i i don't know whom to thank for this but i never felt that universe turn its back on me okay universe is always super supportive of me i remember this um, time in china when i fell off rock and like i was alive and i didn't break bones i got injured badly yeah but mostly i was fucking okay and it was miracle for me it was my personal miracle taking into account that i can't swim and the rocks that i fell off i i, I got slipped my shoes were slippery yeah i slipped off, off the rock it, it it was crazy i think uh back then half of city had videos of me falling and it was all over wechat you know mocking uh foreign girl, yeah let's say <laughs> so uh, how good that I, I'm not able to read Chinese, understand Chinese, and <laughs> I had no time to. But still, it was my personal miracle, yeah. And uh, it was a time when I understood that I have a certain mission, and that even though I was teaching uh, kids in China, I I got sort of like it's it's not like I love children, yeah, but it's not my major. It's not the type of knowledge, you know, English language, not type of knowledge I want to pass down to people, okay? <laughs> so, uh, that was this moment that pushed me closer to towards Matrix, uh, towards returning to my roots, to craft, etc., etc., etc. And I'm really grateful for this moment. Uh, yes, I had been bullied. I had been humiliated. Yeah, uh, I had been ha hated on by those degenerates. Uh, of course. And. And. It's in your hands to make those people never ever think of bullying you ever again. It's only in your hands and it's your responsibility. Uh, it's in your hands and that's your responsibility to stand up for yourself, to build firm boundaries. That's your responsibility, as it's my responsibility, yeah? Uh so about universe turns back here i disagree universe always there in my life again so many miracles so many micro macro miracles and i'm i'm super extremely happy with that you know uh you will feel like this like i did I, again my my beauty i felt like this in past when i had zero access to matrix knowledge to karmic management knowledge when i had zero fucking access to it okay when i had zero access and whenever I'm looking at my teacher who is traveling business class, who is traveling, you know, uh, who is having all these luxuries that I want to have, um, I'm asking myself whenever this feeling of jealousy, uh, of being envious, trying to rise, yeah, I'm asking myself, Kate, are you working that hard as she is working? Are you doing what she is doing? Not yet. So you don't have right to be jealous there. <laughs> Just shut up and start start working. Yeah. And it's very difficult actually because I, I, I see her routine. I, I see her lifestyle to, to get where she is. You can get to a new level in your life if you're not changing your lifestyle. You you can't get to the new level in your life if you if you're not changing lifestyle, okay. Mm, and it's difficult to to try to live the life she's living and she's very productive i'm trying to and like i'm I'm like for three days two three days i can't then i'm sleep back two three days i can't then i sleep back and here she says kate the philosophy of a winner 
from a loser. Yeah, you will keep trying. You you will keep trying. And I remember once after a difficult session with a client, you know, it's like where the depressive client was. Uh, and I don't like all these energies. I needed to empty my brain. I was sitting with this freaking Haim uh, merging something. Uh, yeah, like merging numbers or something. I was sitting and there was, uh, y you need to receive bonus by watching ads. And I clicked and they say z zero ads. They don't have ads. And I clicked again. I clicked, I think, 50 times till I received this fucking ad. And I said to myself, wow. But still, like, my teacher, like, how my teacher said, it's working. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep, keep returning back to... Till you will make this pattern working for you. Yeah, keep trying. Don't, don't, you know, like, don't turn into loser. So here we go. Yeah. What else? You will feel like this, like I did again, honey, when I was young. Yes, I felt like you did. Now I'm not that young, okay? And I'm trying to warn you, yeah, that if you will be able to rebuild your thinking pattern faster, because I received access to this knowledge only when I was like 35 or so. I received access to this knowledge and... I wish I received this type of knowledge when I was your age, yeah, like 20 or something. I would be able to rebuild my patterns faster and achieve success in life faster. So this I wish for you. I wish all the success for you, all the travels for you. So here we go. Uh, I'm extremely surprised that the person I can use it that claims that is a professional and with all these certifications and experience and blah blah doesn't understand from my pop again honey all of us have a unique experience yeah no one no one on earth any professional again honey any professional whoever you will go towards okay won't be able to understand you won't be able to understand you completely. No one, even our parents will not. All of us have a different experience, yeah? And um, I realized this for the first time in my life that no one will be able to understand you completely, yeah? Um, I realized this when we were analyzing. I started. It started in a school. It started in a school when we were analyzing poems of different poets making suggestions why he wrote this, about whom he wrote this, yeah, whom he truly dedicated, what moved him, why he said this, what this metaphorical scene means. And there were so many different exp different opinions, yeah, among students. Uh, the dirt. And uh, second stage when I realized this, yeah, uh, when I wrote my own poem and I was asking my following, how do you think what this poem is all about, yeah, and this poem named Time Not a Cure. Uh, and with with this poem, I represented my country at UNESCO Poetry Festival in Poland. And again, my travels, dear, I earned my way out there. What are you doing? Are you participating in contests that providing you with free travels? What you did for travels? Because me, myself, th this trip was completely paid by UNESCO. When I traveled to Warsaw, Poland, for this festival, it, it was paid by UNESCO. So, and what the hell you did for your free travels? Are you searching for chances or are you searching for excuses? And how many attempts you making? Because I clicked this fucking ad like 50 times. Give me fucking ad. I want this fucking bonus right now. I clicked on this and 50 times it was saying there is no ads right now to watch. 50 fucking times I was not even up. If you tried one, two times and then you were angry and resentful, nothing is working, nothing will be working for the rest of your life. It depends on how many times you tried. And especially for those of you who have energy 19 and you, my darling, as far as I remember from yesterday, yeah, 
12, 7, 19 in karmic tale. Me having my 19 on money line and it's still difficult for me. It's not uh, damaged in my case. In your case, I don't know, you ignored these videos I, I was making about 19 energy and so on, so on. Energy 19, at least three fucking attempts. This is minimum. Before you will become successful. Don't you think it doesn't hurt me uh, progress with my books? Etc. Etc. All of us have our own resentments, yeah. But no one will be able to understand you completely, because all of us have a different soul experience. As for me, yeah, look, girls, I am, uh, as you say, super professional and certificates again certifications, like any type of knowledge that you learned. Uh, will not make you professional. Only knowledge that you applied will make you a master. Yeah, I'm trying to apply in my life to see results, to share with you. Yeah, at least at some micro level, I can share with you, and you can repeat my micro successes going after me. Yeah, walking, repeating my steps that I figured out, that I'm sharing with you here generously, especially in blah blah clubs. And that's why I say don't don't underestimate, don't ignore blah blah clubs. Because that's the most value, because that's uh, like a, a connecting dots be between all the matrix knowledge that I'm sharing, yeah? It's supposed you to take it and apply easier, blah, blah, clubs, yeah? We're not talking in detail, detail about matrix, but we're talking how, how it's applicable, yeah? And you, honey, having this energy 19, you know how many attempts you need to make before something will work out? That's your past life karma. You intuitively sense the answer for yourself, yeah? You need how many start making attempts, start learning to make attempts and not get upset and not get down after each, each attempt you make. Do you think it's pleasant for me when I fully recovered after narcissistic abuse, um, injured by this psychopath, crazy fucking liar, God's man, psychopath, Nihat, and I opened my, finally I opened my heart and I started to go on a date with people, yeah? Don't you think it hurts me meeting someone like this, Arash Alexander, a piece of trash who is treating women as a bitches? Don't you think it hurts? Of course it is. Should it stop me from going on the dates? Of course not. How many attempts you need to make? Many. Many, but it will work at the end. At the end, it will work. Just don't give up trying. Next one, yeah. Oh, but he, I learned from this to not say my opinions to someone who will not understand Akayu. <laughs> okay, bravo. Mm. Whatsoever, yeah, but I hope those of you who are watching, yeah, what I'm sharing, girls, you will understand uh, the point I'm trying to deliver to you. Let me know in the comments if you got the point that I tried to deliver to you. Because again, no one, no one would understand you completely. No one would understand you completely. So stop demanding other people understanding you completely. Instead, focus on you yourself, okay, girls, what, what is most important? You yourself understanding your triggers and your reactions to things, okay? As this is very important. As in my case, like, uh, that's troublemaker energy aid. In my case, like, energy aid, fucking troublemaker, always like, fair, not fair, fair, not fair. And energy aid, in my case, in a karmic tale, which makes me like... Mm. So, girls... Make sure, of course, I, I don't have, like, I hadn't been walking her shoes, so I don't know, yeah, uh, but I have my shoes, and I'm sharing with you knowledge of my shoes, and if a little tiny piece of knowledge from my shoes resonated, take it, apply it, become happier in your life with your results, yeah. And again, when I look look back, I understand how it all worked. I understand that I, when I just came to university, I wanted to travel badly, badly. I was overly possessed with this, like, and all I, I was receiving breadcrumbs, you know, this fucking trip to Kiev, you know. <laughs> I understand now when I received trip to Kiev, I must be m much more happier 
from from university yeah then i was back then if i knew karmic management back then yeah i would be able to to stop my negative emotion at time and dive more in the positive emotion yeah that's what i'm doing now yeah because this is moderation you can moderate your behaviors your thinking pattern but for this you need to understand yourself uh, instead of demanding other people to understand you try you to understand yourself okay that's the biggest point i tried to deliver in this video and again thank you my dear for your comments okay thank you i'm really grateful uh, because these problems i bet a lot of young girls out there dealing with a lot of young girls experiencing something similar so this is like really really important uh let's say issue really important problem and i hope you will learn from this okay See you. Bye.